Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And what I thought, I thought I'd just give you a run through a yellow fin. Very popular, really setting the standard now for offshore boats. And this one's about to go out and it's got a bit of fruit on it. So I thought we should look at it to see what's possible. Because of course, at Brisbane Yamaha, whatever you want, we've probably already done. So let's have a look at a couple of things here. I've got a bit of a beard because I just went to Arnhem Land with the kids, nearly died, got attacked by a buffalo, got bogged, broke down, did wheel bearings. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show people how to do wheel bearings because uh, probably saved their lives. But let's have a look at this, this, this yellow fin 700 Southerner. Now, right from the front, we've got those Tellwater aluminium trailers. You know, and these are a big boat. Big, heavy, deep-sided boat. It's, uh, it's an, uh, 2,750 ATM, you know, so you need to put a brake unit. Now, what we have is a drum winch, factory fitted. Have a look at that with Sarka anchors. We always put Sarka anchors. They cost a lot of more. If your dealer's not putting a Sarka anchor, he's ripping you off. Now, have a look on the side. We've got the bow mount because, you know, everyone wants to min coat a fish. And because it's awesome, you know, you just go out there in the ocean, put the spot lock on, bottom dong, clean, do whatever, even if it's in, even when the current's going too fast. You can just slow yourself up, put the bow into the wind, beautiful. You know, this thing's 100 and, 112 pound, I pilot. You know, and have a look, we put these little straps on to stop them from banging, because that's very important. All very neat and clean is the way we like it at Brisbane Yamaha, because when you're out there and you're banging around, we've got the catch and release there, the spare wheel, you know, handy for single-handed. <coughs> now, as you know, all the yellow fins, the 700, six mil, four mil sides, you can hit that with a hammer, it's a customer's boat. And this piece actually goes there. It's that. So you can see there, and then that's the bottom chine. And the thing about yellow fins, have a look at this extrusion, four welding points instead of one. You know, it's strong. Never had one break, never had the slightest problem actually with a yellow fin. Good color, it's got that blue, I like that. We've got a radar we're gonna see. Now have a look at this. We actually got Australian Marine masters to build this for us. This is what the customer wanted. Because he does a bit of fishing off and we're in Queensland, he's going up north and doing stuff. Have a look at that, that, that shade cover out the back. We've put a zip in there so you can get to your rods and they've got that pin you can pull out. But lots of shade out there in the sun, bottom donging for hours. You just don't want to get bait. At the back here, Dan, have a look. Hydraulic steering. We've got one of the Yamaha 225s. Awesome motor. Zip weights. Underwater light. Gee, I love underwater lights. What I do with them, you're camping or you're fishing, you put that on, that attracts small fish. The small fish catch bigger fish. Squid come up, you know, and it's just a wonderful thing. And if you want to go for a swim, it's always good to have a look in there, isn't it? You know, maybe you're a diver. Zip weights. Trim tabs that are zip weights, so they're the best you can get. Automatic trim tabs, so as you move, they adjust. They're your scuppers, because obviously self-draining deck. Have a look like how some of these cables go in, you know, neat and tidy. And that's how we like to do all of our work at Brisbane Yamaha. Let's have a look, that awesome ladder. Good, look at that bungee there. You know, it's not one of them cheap little things you see on some boats. Hold up there and We've got this great transom door that doubles as a step. Now Dan, up in here, we've got the bait station. So your leader's in here. You can put your sinkers or a drink, some rod holders there to hold your rod, and I put it in there while I'm baiting up. <coughs> you, you know, one, two, three, four, five. You've got 10 tackle boxes of the size. So I reckon you're about five tackle boxes short on what I'd need. And you can see here, this is a nice little touch, isn't it? See these little things here? That's just so when you take your tackle box, it fits in there and it's not gonna slide everywhere. That, that's, that's, um, that's half ingenious. 
you know, it's handy because when you all your lures and hooks and sinkers are on the floor, what a disaster that can be. And it's always when the fish are biting. Rear lounge that moves, that comes out. Have a little side there, Dan. It just see how it comes up into there, or well, you can just take the whole thing out and leave it at home. Is what I do. I normally put an esky, and anyone that comes with me, they can stand up. They're happy with that. Beautiful battery isolation switch, all safe and sound. You can see the charger. You know, just quality work. Good floor, 320 litre fuel tank in it. Lots of stainless steel rod holders. Good seats with storage lockers. You know, you never have too much storage, and even with this. Now, you go, what's that? Well, that's the batteries for the Minn Kota. Stashed away under the seat there. Waterproof, easy to get. You've got to put them somewhere, you know, and that's uh, the best place there. Esky under the other side. Good looking seats, they're a little bit wet. I reckon that's a setup from the guys. Now we've got a glove box over here. We've got the stereo. It's gone with Simrad and Garmin. Not a bad idea. Garmin are awesome navigation. And what we've got is a radar on it. Radars are very good because if you're out there in the ocean, you go somewhere you don't know where the fish are, you can always see where the other boats are. Windscreen wipers, solid glass windows in here. Very strong cabin. We put a couple of lights at the back. Good steering wheel, that's the zip weights. All proper switch panels. That's for the anchor winch up and down. You're just inside here. You can stand up and what I like is I can stand up and I can actually see the drum, which is important, keeping it clear. You know, we can see the Minn Kota, we can put him out. We can spot lock, we can have a look at it. We can make sure everyone's safe. Have a look at this little door, you know, it's like something you're getting. My wife had them in a the kitchen, but these aren't them, and plenty of, plenty of room in there. Of course, if you want an optional extra, you can put a toilet, a head. Now yeah, have a look in there, Dan. Go and just show people what's going on. Plenty of room. And what we'll do is we'll see if I can fit in it. Because I keep telling, it's not because I'm bragging or anything, it's I'm six foot four, but I'm fat, so I don't look that big. And I tell you, on the angle, my feet aren't touching anything, I could lay flat footed. That'd be pretty comfy for me. Have a look at the switch panel under here, Dan, and where all the fuses and stuff are. You know, can you see all that Dan up in here? Got another USB point there because you might want to put in a fridge or charge your phone at night or a light or something. You got these good side pockets here, you'd fill those full. And then let's just say, let's just say something happened that wasn't working. You've got this hatch on the back in yellow fins. Do you see that? Where you can get to the wiring. Just in case, because you never know what's happening when you're banging around out there in the ocean. You know, very, very good. It comes with a light bait. It comes with a with a barely bucket. Oh, hit me head. But I'm used to that. Seats are sliding. So I think what we've got side concealed control box. Just I tell you what, this is really a trophy boat. And let's just have another look at this trim work. You know, it fits. You're getting to get that sun. You know, and just a lot of shade. Then on the top, show them how we've done the uh, radar up there, Dan, just sneak it through there, just so you can see. It's got a white light to bring it up so you're legal. Aerials up there for radio and your tunes. And they ride beautifully. You know, they're a very popular boat, Yellowfin. Enormous amount of work and research gone into them and it's really showing. We're the biggest Yellowfin dealer in Australia. I've got a couple in stock that aren't sold. We've got a lot on order. Right, have a look. We've got a 6200 here, folding hard top. I've got a 50. Have a look at that, Dan. We've got a 5800 folding hard top. Even though this is not a yellow fin, one of my favourite boats, 610 Territory Route Legend. They are just the best. Come over here, and then we've got another couple over there, Dan. We've got a couple of 76s over there to look at. So if you want to come and see one of these boats, because most dealers will say you just have to order one sight unseen. Come and see us. If you want to come for a ride in a yellowfin or see why everyone's talking about them, 
do yourself a favour and call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. 3888 1727. And I hope I see you on the water.